Keith has called. Uh, he's on line one. And, um, Dave, welcome to the programme. What can I do for you? Well, I want to talk to you. I think you're outrageous. Thank you. And your, um, views. Um, I listened to you a couple of weeks ago. We were talking about old age pensions and how they take everything the state can give them. And, you know, somewhere along the line, I was listening to you at night as well, because I was home early tonight. Um, but how old are you, sir? What was that going to do with anything? Well, what, you be, be, because... Oh, I mean, are you somebody who thinks that if you're 94, you're necessarily better than somebody who's 92? No, I'm, well, not, what, I'm not saying that at all. What are you? Well, what's it got to do with anything? I'm, I'm saying you're... I don't go uh, up to you at a party, they say, what do you do? It doesn't matter. I yes, usually it say... Does, I, no, it doesn't. I usually say, how's your dad? Be, be, because your views of people, of a, your views of the younger people and the older people are totally different. Now, I mean... I can remember, um, it was about 1944, I think, when people like you would have been shot if you'd have been in Germany. No, hanged. 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 No, you'd have been shot if you were in no, Germany. No, hanged. Well, you were hanged. Hanged. Because you had views that were totally different to everybody else. Now, in this country, we uh, put up with people like you, and, you, I mean, some of your ideas are so ludicrous. Have they you ever heard of William, have you ever heard of, um, William Joyce? Yes. Who was he? He was Lord Haw Haw. What did you do to him? They hanged him at the end. For, 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 for his radio views? Yeah. How about that? Well, you... Is that all right, is that all right by you? You hang the DJ because you don't like what he's saying? He was a traitor. He didn't break he, the law. He was he Irish. Did. He was Irish. Well... The Irish it, are neutral. They weren't at that particular time, my sir. They certainly were. Oh, no, certainly they weren't. What, the Irish weren't neutral? No, the because World I, War. I went into an Irish port and refuelled when I was at, we were in the Navy. When did the Irish declare war on anybody? They never the declared war on anybody. Well, you give me another they, definition they, of neutral, then. They suffered the fact that the Germans and the British and the Americans went in and refueled in their ports. They were neutral during the war. Load of bot. I um, beg your pardon. They were allegedly neutral. Dave, they were neutral. They were allegedly neutral, sir. And Joyce was an Irishman. Yes, they were allegedly neutral. So how was he neutral. being a traitor? B because, like many of the Irish people at that particular time, they... And well, he was hanged for his put... views. Well, so should you be sometimes. Which views are those? Though, well, the fortnight ago, I, I listened to you uh, talking about old age pensioners that were grabbing everything they could get through um, social security and things like that. About a fortnight three weeks ago. I thought to myself, you, lad, don't know a great deal about anything, do you? Only yourself opinionated what you, what you think. I'll tell you what, Dave. If I ever found myself on an identity parade, and you were the guy coming along picking people out, I'd be shaking in my boots. I should bloody think so, too. Because, because you're mixing me up with somebody else. I'm not. Because, no, I just asked you how old you were. You refused to give, give me that information. What do you mean I refused to give you that information? I just asked you what you wanted to know for, and you couldn't answer the question. Well, I didn't. Be what do you want to know I, for? Because your age group has a different view on life than what my age group well, has. How old are you? I'm 78. Ah, well, you're a whippersnapper. Yeah, I am, yeah. I'm 82. You look like a chief stoker. I'm 82. So you just put that in your pipe and smoke it, you whippersnapper. You're wet behind the ears and you're a know-nothing. When, you when you've lived as long as me, when you've lived as long as me, you get yeah. to know somebody... Uh, where did you you Where did you When you've lived as long as me, when you've lived as long as me... Where did when you, you serve when, in the forces? When you've lived as long as me... Right, I might not have lived as long as you. When you've lived as long as me, you get to know somebody who is confused.
No, I'm not confused. I didn't say where you were, did I? Where, I said you get to know somebody did, who is where confused. Where did you serve in the forces? You, get, you're that you old. get to know somebody who can't work out quite who they're listening to on the radio. Well, I listen to a prat most of the time. But still feel, still feel sufficiently empowered in their ignorance and confusion to pitch up and accuse somebody of doing something they haven't done. Right. And that's what now, you're doing. Now, now I'm going to I'm going to put up a, I'm going to put up a bond for you. Hang I'm going to put up a bond for you now and I want you to listen to this very yeah. carefully, right? I'm going to put up a thousand pounds of my own money mm. against a pound of your money. Mm. If you are able to show something which I know you're not able to show which is that I've accused old age pensioners of scrounging off the state. We now, did about a fortnight ago. It, then in we that case, that. you've got the easiest thousand pounds you'll ever earn. Now, I need you to do that for me, and I know that you won't because you can't. Well, I'll tell you what. You, all you, you have to do is prove it. You say you And you won't be able to prove it because A, I never said it, and B, I don't believe yes, it. Yes, you did. I don't believe it. You did. I didn't. It's yes, as simple did. as that. When? Because you, you, now you see, the problem is, it's what you thought you heard. You about pension credits and things like that. I wasn't, I've never raised the topic of pension bloody credits, I don't even know what they are. You liar, Chief Stoker. Now you're calling me a liar. We've got your phone number. No, no, you're that. accusing You're accusing me, if only you were worth something, I could take you to the cleaners twice over. I know you could. Because, no, you because, could, because, you, because, you, because, you're a you're a because, 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 give, give me a, because, a little... you're lying. Give me a little minute to talk to you, instead of you shouting down my ear all the well, time. Well, when you consider what you're accusing me of something heinous which is untrue, palpably untrue, deeply untrue, disturbingly untrue, when I think that people like you are able to vote, when you're equally able to accuse somebody of something heinous that they wouldn't dream of saying, A, because it's not a topic I talk about because day, it's boring. It's boring, mate, pension credits. I don't talk about that. I talk about life, humanity, and what it is to be a full human being on this show. I do not discuss obscure topics like pension credits. That's for the other journalists. That's for the proper journalists. Well, That's that. for the people who know how to do interviews. I don't. What I do know is that you are confused. I'm not confused. Now, you, you, do you want a thousand pounds then, mate? You're saying... Do you want a thousand pounds? It would be the easiest thousand pounds you've ever earned. Well, if you get somebody to verify what well, I'm saying... No, you, you do talk. it. You do it. You do well, it. I've got to find out every, every person that listens to you. No, we've got uh, tapes, but I'm not going to get them out for you because I'm not going to listen through all my shows. Dave, on, I don't on, even know what a pension credit is. Hang on a slack a minute. You're shouting down my ear all the time. Yeah, that's because you're obscene. I'm not obscene. It's obscene. It's absurd and obscene to accuse somebody of doing something that they haven't done. That's why there are so many sad, terrified people in this world. So many terrified children are thinking that a teacher is going to get them for something and they don't know what it is they've done wrong. It's why there are so many neurotic people. It's why there are so many psychopaths. Look, Chief, don't shout at Arca, me. Yark at you and you think it's funny. Don't shout at me. I've been this is sick. This, this, this is sick. I've used to be gunnery instructors in the Navy mm. shouting at me. You do, don't do anything Are to you me. a father? I'm a father to two sons, yes. Are you? Yeah. Don't shout at me. Because I've been used to gunning and such as the Navy, shall we? And they frighten me more than ever you do, even now, if oh. I think about them. Well, I've got a lot to think about. Now, you talk to me, you're 82 years old. Well, I'm not. No, you're not, I guess you weren't. How old do you think I am? I should say you're about 40. Yeah, so you're very kind. But you didn't mean to be. <laughs> no. No. But, then, see, there is a difference. Supposing you were wrong and you had got me mixed up with somebody else, which you have, would you apologise? I would apologise if I, if I thought I'd got you mixed up. Yes, I will apologise, yeah. Is it something but, that you generally do? Yes, I do. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a quite a... Uh, I'm, I'm not one of these people that hold grudges or something. If I thought I got you wrong, I'll apologise. If you think I've got you wrong, I will apologise. But I do think that... See, I've come across people like you before. 
You're right. If I may finish, I, I've come across people like you before who listen to the radio and you don't know whether you're listening to the BBC or some commercial radio station. Now, let me finish. Mm -hmm. Let me finish. It's because you don't listen very well. Let me finish. It's not mm -hmm. an insult. Not an insult. <laughs> it's not an insult. When I, sta when I started in television, I worked on a program called Magpie. Oh, God, oh my, that was years ago. There was a, just keep listening and stop thinking you've got to say something halfway through every sentence, mate. And there was a sister program on the BBC called Blue Peter. Now, I did the one on ITV called Magpie, and as soon as I started appearing on television, people kept coming up to me, and do you know what they asked me? Most often. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, wouldn't have a clue. No. Because uh, of that particular No, just say time, no, mate. Just I say was, no, no, I just say no. we out of the Far East. Did you, we're not interested. I'm telling you something that's got some, some merit. And the fact that you're out in the Far East does, I must admit, have a certain amount of merit, but not in the way that you might think. Now, what they would come up to me and say is, is it really your dog? Now, do I have to explain why... Yeah, you do have to, to me, because okay. I've never even seen those programmes. No. Well, the thing was, the dogs were with the other lot on the BBC. We didn't have any dogs. <laughs> but what it was, was that people muddled up. They have the radio on, or the TV on, and they kind of think it's all one effort. So, they hear somebody say something, and they think it must be that bloke. And that's harmless enough. But there are people like you, Dave, who try to get people fired on the basis of things that they haven't said and don't think. It's because they actually quite like the idea of causing somebody else some discomfort. No, that's a load of... I beg your pardon. No, you nearly said bollocks, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, well no, I, with that? I was going to say bald, actually. Well, whatever. <laughs> well, I don't care. It's, it's 12 o'clock at night and we'll talk the way people want to talk. <clears throat> However, I have to say that if I was to shoot my load off at you for what well, you are... We've done it so far. I haven't come close, mate, because I am aware of the sensibilities of most of the intelligent people who are listening. Who you're, know, trying, who you're know. trying to run me down, Chief. I'll, I'll, tell, you, I'll tell you what, I'll, well, right, well, what is it? What is it? I'm are you, are as you, well, as you? You're not. What's no, the best, you're, all right, you're, let's try it, you're shall we? You're bald now. What's the best book you've ever read? Go on. I think, um, also the, the best book I've ever read? Yeah. Uh, Stalin's book, what was it? Um, oh, I can't remember the name of it now. I've read, you know, That well, good, was it? <laughs> Yeah. What I, else? What's, what, what, what another, can you think of a book that you've read that you can remember the name of? Can you think of a book that you've read that you can remember the name of? I was at school. I read. We had to read a lot of books. And what were, I'm and, a lot older than you, Chief. Yeah. Well, that doesn't stop you reading books. I'm not, I'd like to know if there's. Can you name a book? Oh, I'll tell you what, quite frankly, no, I can't. You can't but name a bloody book? But yeah, well, I can name... You can't name a book, but you're prepared don't to pitch up at the radio me. and tell you me that I said disgusting things about old you people. You won't get through to me by shouting at me, Chief. No, I'm not trying to get through to you. You I... are, you're trying to confuse me or whatever you're doing. Well, I you weren't I'm, confused I'm just, in the first I'm place. I was GIs in the Navy and you're nothing compared to them. You said that three times. It's yeah, I know. You, I know you won't get through your thick head, will it? I reckon that they got to you. No, didn't they? Didn't get through to me. And shall I tell well, you, I'll tell shall you, I tell you what, what? The effect they was taught they me to listen to people like you and bloody ignore you. What happened was this: you were bullied in the navy. I never was bullied in the navy. In those days, there was no such thing as bullying. In 1944, son, and it made there was you... nothing as such as bullying. It was life. And it made you angry. Didn't make me bloody angry at all. It was life, son. And it made you dangerous. Dangerous what? Da what? Dangerous to innocent people. Oh, God. dear, oh dear! You mm. must be out of your tiny little mind. Well, just remember this. There must be 33 million people in England now who have served in the services 39 to 44. And I mean, every one of them is dangerous to innocent people. No, you. They've, they've lived... They've lived and seen people killed now, alongside them. Now, let's just take that. Let's just take this. 
what you've you just said. You never live my life. Let's just take what you've said and deconstruct it if you care to. I've yeah, said, go on. I've said that the anger. There's no bloody anger. Look, look, it's not a conversation unless you let the other person finish. Well, you won't let me finish. Go on, say what you got to say then. Right. And you have to listen and then respond to it mm -hmm. as if you were a complete human being. Yeah. Which all of us, myself included, are most of the time. But all of us, yourself definitely included, sometimes are not. Now then, you referred to the people who shouted at you in the Navy mm -hmm. so much that one is entitled to believe that it might be something that was a significant relationship in your life. And you're angry. <laughs> and we all get angry. <laughs> Where do you get that from? I'm a psychiatrist. Where do you get that from? You see, what I'm trying to find out is the reason why it's your dearest hope that I have been unpleasant in a way which I wasn't. Well, I'll tell you what now, Chief. Have you ever been on board ship? Hmm? Just make your point. Have you ever been on board a ship? No, I'm not going to play 20 questions. Make your no, point. No, uh, just uh, tell me, have you ever been on board a ship? A ship. A ship. A ferry across to um, France or something like that. I've been on HMS Phoenix. Have you? Yeah. And do you know the watertight doors on HMS Phoenix? Only too well. You don't? Now, what if HMS Phoenix got torpedoed or damaged forward? What was well, the HMS Phoenix isn't an ocean-going ship. No. What, what, but if you, if it was a... Do you know what HMS H Phoenix is? Well, no, I don't. I can't... Oh, it's, for it's God's probably sake, a bloody... So are, probably you, are we actually saying that I know more about Her Majesty's Navy than you do? No, because you're talking well, about... Well, you don't know what HMS Phoenix is? But it's probably somewhere down at Pompey or a bloody range, range doing. Right, well, you're about to tell me what it's like to be below decks when a ship is holed and you don't know what HMS Phoenix is. Oh, hang on the slack now. It's that, um, what's the name down at, um, Pompey, isn't it? Which um, is a what? Which is what? It's a training, training thing. At, Which uh, does what? It's firefighting and, uh, firefighting Would you like and me damage to tell you? control. Would you like me to tell you? Go on. Have you ever been on HMS Phoenix? No, I haven't, because I was a, a carrier man. What's that? I was on board carriers. You were on board an aircraft carrier? My, all, my, all my service in the Navy. Right. But you don't know what HMX Phoenix is? Well, I think, I think it's the firefighting and... Were you, were you ever sunk? Set. No, I'd never bloody sunk. Do you know what it's like to be sunk? Do you? Yeah. Cause I've because I've been on HMX Phoenix. Because you've been on HMX Phoenix where they yeah. it. Yeah, have Go you? Go on. Have you? Tell me. No, no. But I've done the same sort of thing on board ship. Yeah, it's not the same as Phoenix. My, my Your experience is not as real as mine. Well, mine was on board ship in the middle of the bloody sea. Do you know how many people have done Phoenix twice? I wouldn't know. One. Because one man. There's only one man who's done Phoenix twice. Me. How did you? And yeah. what did you do it for? Because you were... No, I did it because we had to do it twice because... It was being filmed for a TV yeah, program yeah, and... Yeah, a TV program. Yeah. And no, hang on, I'm, I'm just saying to you... So I've been sunk twice and you haven't been sunk at all. No, but I'm just saying to you that... You and in any case, it's entirely irrelevant because the, yeah. point of, the point of this conversation is this, okay? That you're so... Um, um, that you... Outrageous in your statement. No, I, um, I, I'm not going to get th through to you, but I, we've got your phone number and what I'm going to consider is whether or not I could sue you for libel. Oh, yeah, get, get stuffed. I mean, let's face it, we're talking now about your, your statements in... and how outrageous you are, and how... You, 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 you can listen to Southern Counters Radio in the morning, or any morning, and somebody says... Dave, I've got to go, because there's, there's quite a lot of people want to talk to me. Uh, I'm very sad that you, um, that you are so confused. I'm not confused. Yes, you are. Oh, dear. 
you know, when you were talking to somebody like that, you, uh, particularly if you're the person that they've got this completely ludicrous, mistaken view of it, you can hardly believe that you're being, you know, singled out as having said some things that you haven't said. It, it, it quite frightens you because you know that in all sorts of other areas of life, there are people being mis mistaken for other people or people are acting in such a way that there is a kind of an ambiguity about their actions and those with malice of forethought decide to interpret their actions to exploit the ambiguity of what they've done or said so that they can persecute them and you kind of hope that if you can get somebody in a conversation you can somehow demonstrate using your obviously superior commands that they might have got it wrong and then it just becomes you know, uh, something that you, you, you can't let go, you become quite obsessed with it. I mean, the man could not see that I hadn't said any of the things, I had no idea what he was talking about. He's clearly mistaken me for some other pundit, probably on a commercial radio station which broadcasts access radio not very well these days which is on around about the same time as this show, quite possibly. I don't know. I don't know if that's the case. Maybe. Dave has called. Uh, he's on line one. And, um, Dave, welcome to the programme. What can I do for you? Well, I want to talk to you. I think you're outrageous. Thank you. And your, um, views. Um, I listened to a couple of weeks ago. We were talking about old age pensions and how they take everything the state can give them. And, you know, somewhere along the line, I'm listening to you tonight as well, because I was home early tonight. Um, but how old are you, sir? Well, during the war. Load of bot. I <laughs> beg your pardon. <laughs> they were allegedly neutral. Dave, they were neutral. They were allegedly neutral, sir. And Joyce was an Irishman. Yes, they were allegedly neutral. So how was he being a traitor? B because, like uh, many of the Irish people at that particular time, they... And he was, was hanged for his put... views? Well, so should you be, sometimes. Which views are those? Though, well, the fortnight ago, I, I listened to you are talking about old age pensioners that were grabbing anything they could get. What was that going to do with anything? Well, what, you be, be, because... Oh, I mean, are you somebody who thinks that if you're 94, you're necessarily better than somebody who's 92? No, I'm, well, not, what, I'm not saying that at all. What are you? Well, what's it going to do with anything? I'm, I'm saying you're... I'm going uh, up to you at a party and they say, what do you do? It doesn't matter. I usually yes, it say... Does, I, no, it doesn't. I usually say, how's your dad? Be, be, because your views of people, of a, your views of the younger people and the older people are totally different. Now, I mean, I can remember, um, it was about 1944, I think, when people like you would have been shot if you'd have been in Germany. No, hanged. 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 No, you'd have been shot if you were in no, Germany. No, hanged. Well, they were hanged. Hanged. Because you had views that were totally different to everybody else. Now, in this country, we uh, put up with people like you, and, you, I mean, some of your ideas are so ludicrous. Have They're you ever like heard of William... Have you ever heard of, um, William Joyce? Yes. Who was he? He was Lord Haw Haw. What did you do to him? They hanged him at the end. For, 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 for his radio views? Yeah. How about that? Well, you... Is that all right, that all right by you? You hang the DJ because you don't like what he's saying? He was a traitor. He didn't break he, the law. He was he Irish. Did. He was Irish. Well... The Irish it, are neutral. They weren't at that particular time, my sir. They certainly were. Oh, no, certainly they weren't. Well, the Irish weren't neutral. No, the because Second World War. I, I went into an Irish port and refuelled when I was at, we were in the Navy. When did the Irish declare war on anybody? They never second? declared war on anybody. Well, you give me another they, definition they, of neutral, then. They suffered the fact that the Germans and the British and the Americans went in and refuelled in their ports. They were neutral.